And it's Ray. Ray, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's a pleasure to be here. Okay, so Ray is going to be uh, giving us a demo of how to calibrate the uh, inverter controller according to how it's going to be used to size it and uh, to be uh, um, compatible with the solar system, solar panels, and the pump. Okay. Typically, when we're setting up the inverter, we're going to go into the programming section. This is here. And each, each one of these steps is a register. We're actually programming into a register. Mm -hmm. The first register does nothing but locks the, the program in or out. So if you enter into here, I've already set this to zero. That allows me to change the rest of the parameters. If this was set to one, it'd be locked out. So your customer can't come up and change any of the programming. So, um, so we'll step to the next parameter. PR1, this is just a register. This is my input voltage that I've set for the solar panels. In this case, 280 volts. I want my controller to come on at 280 volts. So assuming, if I interrupt, assuming that we have uh, solar panels like four, uh, that would be about uh, 250 watts, 250 watts per panel, that would be about 1,000 volts, mm -hmm. 1,000 watts. So that would be translated to... Typically your panels, 24 volt panels, are going to put out 36 to 45 volts, typically. Uh -huh. So uh, that's what our panels do. Uh, our 195 panels puts out about 36 to 45. Okay. Uh, 45 being open circuit voltage. Mm -hmm. okay. 36 being is what you're probably going to see during the day. Okay. So that's what you're setting up in here. You're, you're going to take your, your, uh, your average of your panels mm -hmm. and go, okay, I want you to come on, I'll step back down to here, and I'm going to go, okay, my panels are going to put out from 300 to 360 volts. Right, okay. So here I set in uh, 280, that's okay. when I want it to start coming on. Mm -hmm. And then the next register is, uh, and this is a window, I want my, my uh, pump to hit full speed by 310 volts. So I've set this for 310 volts. If I set this up to, say, 350, until my solar array hit 350 mm -hmm. volts, I wouldn't be putting out 60 hertz. I'd be putting out 40 or maybe 50 hertz. Mm -hmm. But um, I have this set so that at 310 volts, it's always going to be running at full speed. Then our next register is the voltage of the motor. Uh, this is set for 230. You can do four, 440 on the larger mm -hmm. ones, 460. Uh, the next parameter, oops. Next parameter is the amperage that I set for the motor. I set it for 7 amps. Mm. Uh, this is the startup delay. You notice when it came on, it counted down from 3. You could set it for an hour if you wanted. Mm -hmm. uh, the rest of these is time and date. This next function allows you to either set the controller uh -oh, <laughs> set the controller for either manual or automatic function. In other words, when the sun comes up, I want it to start automatically or not. You have somebody come out and push oh, the button. Okay, okay. So That's I have this set to one, which tells it to come on automatically. Yeah, okay. uh, this is the speed that I set for the motor. Uh, I had it set on 60 hertz because that's mm -hmm. the, 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 the rating on the motor. Really? If you have a 50 hertz motor, mm -hmm. maybe a European motor, you can set that. Uh, but you, this is where you set that. One is the manual operation, and the other is automatic. I set them both for 60 hertz. Uh, this is the stopping frequency. If for whatever reason our pump slows down to 40 hertz, it's going to turn off the pump. The, the rest of these, I, we're all set to zero right now, but these are for your low water sensor or for your tank full sensor. In other words, if you have a sensor in the well to tell you that the, the, the well is low, it'll turn off this, this uh -huh. controller and allow the well yeah. to recover to a time that you set into the controller. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's basically it. And then once you program it, you would step back to uh, PR0. go in here and set this to one and now I cannot change any of the parameters so if I went in so here and tried to change this now right so yeah. that that way it locks it in 
Okay. And simply you can come out, hit run again, and we'll start the motor. I change. Okay. Restart it. I'll show you the how it starts up.